Do you want to know how large auto manufacturers tear out their marketing efforts? Stay tuned and we'll talk about this on this episode of The Great Reset. My name is Robert Brill and I'm the CEO of BrillMedia.co. We're an ad firm that drives sales and leads with the best data targeting and tech available in the marketplace. We're here five days a week talking about marketing and advertising so you can be a better marketing practitioner. In the last video, we transitioned from looking at low consideration consumer journeys to high consideration consumer journeys where the sales process is longer. In this video, we'll talk about how the consumer journey has more observable touch points than low consideration product purchases and really what that means for marketers. Consider that a car is a big purchase. You spend a lot of money. You often spend tens of thousands of dollars to buy a car and you often pay for it for many years. Car ads are running all the time, whether you realize it or not, but you may only start noticing that car ads are running when you actually need to start the buying process. Let's say you notice some weird sounds in your car, it starts smoking up, uh, it doesn't run as smoothly, and you start to get, get it into your head that you need a new car, or your car just flat out breaks down. Since the purchase is on your mind and assuming your car doesn't just like break down on the side of the road, you need to buy another car in the next three days. Let's say you have a month or two. Since the purchase is on your mind, you pay attention to the features, pricing, brands, and models of cars that you see on the road, of commercials that you see. It starts to be become prevalent to you that all of a sudden there are lots of car, adver car ads in your mind share while you're surfing the web or while you're on your mobile phone or while you're watching television. Basically, advertising is always happening for television ads. You just don't notice it until you're ready to buy a car. So in a further step, then now you've made the decision you wanna buy, and then you drive into the consideration phase of the buying process by going to sites like edmundsandcars.com or specific brand pages to look at specific prices, features, and nuances among a smaller set of products. So let's say you've narrowed it down to Toyota and Honda, and you're, list, you're looking at the Toyota Camry, for example. You do the research, digital marketing data categorizes you into specific data sets for a likely buyer. Um, you start seeing more ads for that specific brand that you are researching, as well as competitors to that brand. So for example, if you're looking at the Toyota Camry, it's unlikely that you're going to start getting ads for a Mercedes-Benz um, because the data understands that you are in market for a, that type of car, a Toyota Camry or something similar. Then you trigger another phase of the buying process when you walk into a dealership and talk to a salesperson and test drive some cars. Car manufacturers have this process set to a science even separating the marketing efforts from tier one to tier three. Tier one is the brand manufacturing or the brand marketing from the manufacturer. So it's the big brand ads that you see. Tier two is the regional marketing and tier three is the local dealership trying to get you to come in and buy a car from them. Each tier works together to get the right car to the right buyer. And also this tiered system demonstrates how nuanced the car manufacturer's approach is. Each tier has different marketing objectives. The core point here is that this is an example of high consideration product that has a more defined consumer journey because it is there are data signals that trigger every time a consumer goes jumps from demand creation or to consideration or to purchase. Now we'll stop there. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and let us know you like what we're doing. For more videos like this to help you be a better marketer, subscribe and hit that notification button. And if you want to bypass all the learnings and go straight to the lead generation to grow your business, we do it all for you for $1,500 a month. Check out the spot on marketing service in the link below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on another episode of The Great Reset.